we're announcing one of the largest transformations in the global automotive business. When you're competing directly with cost-competitive automakers, you really have to up your game. Ford, a highly trusted auto brand worldwide, has always excelled in the pickup truck market. However, there's one aspect where Ford truly showcases its expertise, engines. Over the years, Ford has crafted numerous engines that have left a lasting impression on car enthusiasts. Yet, nothing compares to their latest groundbreaking engine, which outshines its competitors in every way. Join us as we explore the wonders of Ford's all-new engine, a true game-changer that has taken the entire car industry by storm. Deep within the vehicle's belly lies the engine, a powerhouse of energy that breathes life into the metal beast before you. Without it, the car would remain motionless, unable to budge even an inch. The engine is like the heart of the vehicle, pumping power into its mechanical veins. For Ford, a beloved brand entrenched in the lives of Americans, the engine holds a special place of importance. It represents their legacy, their triumphs, and their unwavering pursuit of excellence. But let's rewind the clock and journey back to where it all began, in a simple kitchen owned by Mrs. Clara Ford. Within the confines of that humble kitchen on 58 Bagley Avenue near downtown Detroit, an automotive revolution was silently brewing. As her husband, the visionary Henry Ford, toiled away, Clara carefully poured a few precious drops of gasoline into the intake valve, holding their breath in anticipation. They witnessed the magical moment as Henry worked the ignition and spun the flywheel. Suddenly, the engine sprang to life, its rhythmic rumble filling the room. This transformative moment marked the birth of Henry Ford's extraordinary automotive journey. The engine that sparked this revolution was a marvel of simplicity. Constructed from a basic iron pipe carefully bored and honed on the inside to accommodate a piston with a bore diameter of approximately 2, 54 centimeters, or 1 inch, it possessed a modest yet profound elegance, a rudimentary rod and crank arrangement connected to the flywheel's starting handle. While the remaining components were fashioned from readily available hardware and plumbing supplies, over the years, generations of enthusiastic home machinists have sought to replicate this engine, treating it as a cherished project. Plans and blueprints have been lovingly passed down, ensuring that the spirit of Ford's earliest creation endures. You can even find these plans on the internet, beckoning those with a passion for engineering to embark on their own journey of discovery. However, there is one engine that Ford keeps under wraps withholding its plans from the internet. It's an awe-inspiring creation known as the Godzilla engine, an all-new V8 masterpiece that has captivated the imaginations of performance enthusiasts far and wide. Ford, a company known for pushing boundaries, surprised the world when they unleashed this potent 7.3-liter gasoline engine onto the stage, naming it Godzilla. This mighty V8 engine was purpose-built for super-duty trucks, delivering an astounding 430 horsepower at 5,500 rpm. But the true measure of its power lies in its torque, a class leading 644 newton meters, or 475 foot pounds, at 4,000 rpm. It's a staggering force that electrifies the senses, promising unbridled might on the open road. What sets the Godzilla engine apart is Ford's departure from their previous design philosophy. Instead of sticking to the modular or coyote platform they had painstakingly developed over two decades, they made a bold choice. Ford returned to a classic cast iron block design incorporating push rods and wedge-style heads. It's a nod to the past, an embrace of tried-and-true engineering principles that hearken to the golden era of performance. Originally developed as an option for the robust F-250 and larger Super Duty models, the Godzilla engine showcases Ford's commitment to power, durability, and cost-effectiveness. It's an engine built to withstand the rigors of heavy-duty work, yet it's also a canvas for automotive artists to unleash their wildest dreams. Hot rod enthusiasts have marveled at its prowess, with some examples producing over 700 horsepower without forced induction and an astonishing 1450 horsepower with the aid of a supercharger. The mastermind behind this engine also worked on the Shelby GT350, so you know it's something special. This engine is completely brand new, designed to be tough and durable. The designer of the Godzilla engine wanted to ensure it could be serviced and rebuilt easily in the future. That's why they chose an iron block, which makes it sturdy and long lasting. With a special crankshaft called a stroker crank, you could reach an impressive 8, 2 liters. The crankshaft is made of solid forged steel and is secured by 4-bolt main caps, which provide additional strength to the main journal. The part connecting to the crankshaft is approximately 2, 66 inches long, similar to the 6, 2-liter Ford the 5th 8 engine. The raw journals are around 2, 0, 86 inches long, matching the Coyote 5-liter engine. 
The engine block's height from the central line of the crankshaft to the top surface is about 9, 65 inches. The top surface features a special cut designed for cooling and airflow, ensuring smooth operation. The connecting rods, which link the pistons to the crankshaft, are made from a robust material known as powdered metal with cracked caps. The pistons themselves are cast from a combination of steel and aluminum, providing durability and performance. Alternative piston materials are also available. The Godzilla engine features a unique variable displacement oil pump instead of a standard one, driven by a chain. This pump allows precise control of oil pressure based on the driver's needs. When the engine is idling, the pump adjusts to provide only the necessary pressure, enhancing engine protection with its sturdy construction and intelligent design. The Godzilla engine showcases Ford's dedication to creating powerful and long-lasting engines. It includes an 8.5-quart oil pan made of cast aluminum. Some models have additional oil coolers attached to the block, though block-off plates are available if coolers are not needed. Induction is crucial for engine performance, especially in swaps. The factory truck engine uses a composite intake manifold with a front-mounted, upswept 18mm throttle body. However, the throttle body's location may present clearance issues in some vehicles due to hood space. Aftermarket intakes designed for swaps are becoming available. The 7. 3-liter Godzilla engine has a dry valley design to keep the intake cooler and reduce the risk of oil leaks, while it doesn't currently use direct injection. It can be added later if needed. The engine's cylinder heads are made of aluminum and feature a wedge combustion. Chamber design with spark plugs centrally located in the piston dish for optimized performance. This setup allows for a higher compression ratio, improving efficiency and performance. To prevent detonation under high loads, piston cooling jets flow oil to the backside of the pistons. The valve sizes are 2, 17 inches for intake valves and 1, 66 inches for exhaust valves positioned at an angle of 8, 8 degrees with a 1, 8 degree cam lift. The intake cam lift measures 13, 67 millimeters, and the exhaust cam lift is 15, 26 millimeters, with a 60 millimeter cam bore and 9 journals to reduce friction. The beehive valve springs are taller to accommodate high valve lift while minimizing stress on the springs. The engine incorporates hydraulic roller lifters with variable valve timing and a single phaser. Although the overlap is fixed, the cam can be advanced on the fly, allowing for reduced pumping loss at low speeds and improved airflow at higher speeds. This design differs from other Ford engines, including the 4, 6-liter 2-valve, 3-valve, 4-valve modular engines, and the 5, 0-coyote engines with dual overhead cams. The width of the top of the valve cover measures 25, 5 inches, making it about 2 inches wider than a typical 351 Windsor engine. With a 24-inch length, the compact size of the Godzilla engine allows it to fit into almost any vehicle that accommodates a V8 engine. With engine swaps gaining popularity, it's likely we'll see these engines in classic Fords, late-model Mustangs, and street rods.